you know, how do you let Derrick Henry throw a touchdown pass on you? How? You know, I wonder, as we sit here and talk about the NFL after week 11, like, how did this happen? Packers, after getting a, you know, great win against the Cowboys last week, they just, they let Ryan Tannehill throw two touchdowns on them. They let Derrick Henry throw a touchdown on them. And the Packers look lost again. They look lost. I'm confused. I'm also confused that the Bears defense, they can't seem to stop anybody worth anything at all either. They haven't been able to the last couple weeks. It's about what you've been doing for us lately, and the Bears, although Justin Fields has been playing absolutely great, the defense did not, and they lost to the Falcons. The Eagles couldn't get themselves together until like the final few minutes of this game. We're talking Jalen Hurts, you know, was able to get that get the run going just enough to win the Eagles the game because again the Colts are locking the Eagles down for most of this game I genuinely do not know what happened and then the punt return of all punt returns you know as the Patriots somehow somehow win in this game as Marcus Jones takes a punt return 84 yards back for the win it doesn't make any sense at all it really doesn't like the Jets get swept by the Patriots and you know the Jets are at the bottom of the division again like out of all these possibilities I don't think I could have seen that coming I really don't because that game was a putrid putrid game in which both these teams did absolutely nothing until that very very play with less than 10 seconds to go Texans are tanking still so you know not much you can really say there they lose to the commanders very easily the Saints they beat the Rams and I think James Winston's pretty angry about losing his job but you know, the Saints are winning games and trying to get back to 500. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. The tales with injuries in the NFL continue to be told, you know, in regards to injuries. So, it is what it is. Bills Browns got moved to Detroit. And the Bills were able to win despite the fact that Jacoby Brissett threw three touchdowns on this Bills team. I don't know how. Josh Allen did all right. Singletary really the guy in this game you know the Bills Bills were able to survive this game they were able to survive this game and then and then we had another offensive slugfest yeah Lamar Jackson got a touchdown in this game but my goodness thank goodness Baker Mayfield threw some interceptions in this game because again the Panthers and the Ravens were tied at three for the longest time it was ugly ugly game ugly ugly game and then you had the Lions basically Jamal Williams DeAndre Swift and Aiden Hutchinson were the guys in this game <laughs> like Daniel Jones he looked like Eli Manning in this game he looked like Eli Manning you know he looked he looked like he he reverted back to Danny Derps instead of Danny Dimes it, it was that bad. It was that bad for the Giants. They couldn't get anything going until very late in this game. And then the Raiders beat the Broncos in overtime. Like, I don't know how. I don't know how the Broncos messed this all up. I really don't. Like, how, how do you mess this up, man? How do you mess this up? Truly. Truly, this is something. I think the Broncos just released Melvin Gordon, by the way. I think they just did. Right? Yeah, they just did. Because he didn't do anything in this game. I mean, what what, what else can you say? Because, I mean, the Broncos... The Broncos are just terrible, man. Like, this, is, this is one terrible football team. Just awful. 
Just just an awful, awful team, you know. And then the Cowboys, they beat up on the Vikings. We're talking, they put up 40 on them. Tony Pollard, you know, out there doing damage. Zeke doing damage. Micah Parsons, you know, even though he got hurt at various points in this game, he was doing damage. The Cowboys just snapped that winning streak that the Vikings had after the thriller last week that the Vikings have with the Bills, so, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what the NFC East is looking like, because, I mean, we all know the Eagles, you know, they haven't looked that great the past couple weeks, Cowboys just came off a loss to the Packers, but did dominate the Vikings like this, <laughs> you know, the Vikings, again, have a thriller with the Bills, but then, you know, they do nothing in this game against the Cowboys, I mean, they just get destroyed, you know, like, oh my god, like, I didn't see this one coming, like, I actually, you know, once this game was over, I was like, okay, I ain't gonna do nothing else, I feel pretty good about this, you know, as a Cowboys fan, I, I feel, I feel pretty good about this win, man, I feel beyond good, and then the Bengals, they were able to win against the Steelers, but man, there were some turnovers in this game, we're talking TJ White got one, we're talking the Steelers were getting turnovers, we're talking... You know, the, the Steelers scored 30 points, you know, in this game. But then, you know, you had to really think, wait a minute, something's not right here. How do you let Samaj AP Ryan get three touchdown pass, or rather three touchdown receptions out of the four TT passes that Joe Burrow threw? How do you let this happen? How? That's that's not that's not something that's not something you want. Not at all. And then, you know, Justin Herbert and and, and Patrick Mahomes had another war. But we all know how these end with the Chiefs winning. We all know how this ends. Like are are you sure it was a close game, but I mean the Chiefs win. Like it's Sunday night, it's the Chiefs. You know, they they do what they do. Sure, Josh Palmer was out here balling, but I mean, come on. The Chiefs win in another thriller. And then the game that just ended about an hour or so ago, the 49ers just whooped on the Cardinals. I mean, how do you let Jimmy Garoppolo throw for four touchdowns on you? Then again, I mean... The, they, the, the Cardinals, the Cardinals just, they're, they're terrible, they're bad, you know, when, when this whole group for the 49ers is feasting, because again, the 49ers, they, they look like they have the offense, again, that can, you know, win some big time games, but I'm still, again, just not completely sold on them, I mean, when you have Debo Samuel, when you have George Kittle, when you have Brandon Ayuk, you know, you know this 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 49ers team is just dangerous, man. They're dangerous. You know, like like and again, I yeah yeah yeah. So um, I don't yeah. Kyler Murray didn't play, but I don't know if that was gonna matter. Cause, I mean, this Cardinals defense is absolutely terrible. So it's like at the end of the day. You know the Cardinals are sitting here at four and seven, and I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with them because you know things things need to go a little bit better than what they do. So when you look at the AFC, you look, you know, you look at the AFC and you see a lot of intrigue. I think, and I think it's really going to come down to. You know, are we going to get another team? You know, I think we're going to get, you know, the AFC South and the AFC West are going to get one team. But it depends on which three teams from the East we're going to get. If we're going to get another team from the West, and I think we're going to get two teams from the North. We're going to get two teams from the North. And it, where the Chargers are going to be able to do something, or are we going to get three teams from the East? That's really the that's really the big thing. I don't know if we're going to get four. All four from the East. That would be nice. 
if we got all four from the East. You know, there's seven games for most teams left in the regular season, so I don't know. I don't know, man. Six, seven games left in the regular season. Um, the NFC, you know, it's looking more and more like somebody from the NFC East is going to get left out of the equation, I think. You know, now the 49ers are making that surge, and they're technically atop the West, you know, now. So, somebody from the NFC East is going to get left out, sadly, I think. Maybe. It, it depends. Like, the AFC East and the NFC East are definitely the two best, you know, divisions in football this year. So, you know, somebody's going to get mad when they get left out. And it's going to be a dogfight to the end in both of those divisions. Um, I think we're going to get two teams out the West. We're definitely going to get a team from the North. I don't think the Lions are going to have enough to come back. You know, and we're going to get somebody from the South. Who will that be? Because again, the NFC South, unfortunately, while the division is terrible, you know, <laughs> there's some intrigue behind it. Like, Again, the Falcons are five and six. Buccaneers five and five on a bye week. So, you know, you know, now it's Thanksgiving week. Now all the interesting games really are on Thanksgiving. Like once you leave that noon slate, it's looking ugly. But we'll talk about that, you know. Um, we'll talk about that Wednesday night, you know. Instead of Thursday, like I usually do, it'll be Wednesday night when we talk week number 12 in the NFL. So, until then, I'll see you all, you know, um, late tomorrow night. No, not late tomorrow night. Late Wednesday night. And we'll talk about all this stuff. We'll talk about the NFL and everything because it's going to be one hell of a Thanksgiving and one hell of a Sunday. And there's a Monday game, of course. So, until then, Big Boy Sports signing out, and I'll see you soon.